Hi everyone, I'm Senior Police Officer Don Vo from the HPD Community Affairs. And I am here today at the Chinese Community Center, 9800 Town Park, and we are celebrating the Lunar New Year at the Chinese Community Center's Lunar New Year Festival 2023. Right here today, I have lantern making. We are using the Lucky Envelopes, and we are gonna be making a lantern, Lucky Lanterns for the children. And then over here, we have a crime prevention uh, table with various languages for the community so that they can stay informed and prevent crime. Over on this side, I have a station for the children to have bunny masks because this year's Zo Chinese Zodiac is the year of the rabbit. So I have made um, bunny masks for them to color, to engage with the police officers. And lastly, on this section, we have a trinket area where you spin a wheel, and you, whatever you land on is what your prize will be. And this is from the Office of Community Affairs. And I just want to wish everyone a happy Lunar New Year 2023. And I also want to mention why is it so important that the Office of Community Affairs is here and I am serving as the Asian Community Liaison. It is so important to serve our community and represent our diversity of the people in the city of Houston. So being here, engaging with the community and having discussions with them, open discussion on what's going on, what they need help with, that's what's really important and that's what matters, especially with the Houston Police Department. Good morning, good morning. I'm Allison Hudson with Community Shield, and today I have some U of H people here with me, and they're going to talk about something very important today. Can you tell me uh, what you guys do and what's your name? Hi, my name is Shante Fossey. I'm a program manager at the University of Houston Health Research Institute, and we are here representing our H Town Chat project. All right, and tell me your name. Hi, my name is Alice. I'm the student from UH. Um, so today, um, program. Awesome, awesome. Okay, so tell me, I mean, you have some nice brochures here. Yeah. Obviously, this is important, especially, you know, with COVID. I see some COVID information, blood pressure. Tell me a little bit about what we have here. Yes, so the H-Town Chat program is basically designed to understand the lived experiences of the Asian community as they pertain to navigating healthcare. So what we're doing here is we're giving some brochures out about COVID. We're asking some questions about their lived experiences and also making sure to do some blood pressure, you know, checks to make sure everyone is all healthy and Awesome, awesome. So today we are going to share so obviously we have some uh, some water bottles here. Yes. So tell me what's the you know importance of having these. Obviously we want people to drink water. Can you just kind of elaborate on that? Yes. So we have some water bottles here. Are awesome swag items to get people to stay hydrated throughout the day. We have some awesome masks to you know stay masked up for COVID-19. And we also have some sanitizer just to make sure people are being safe. Awesome, awesome. Anything else you want to add? No, just we appreciate Chinese Community Center for bringing us here today. We appreciate it and we're thankful. All right, and I'm going to go around and get everybody's name. Okay. Dr. Damien Adam Kelly. Hi, I'm Jada Martinez. All right. My name is Carissa Tim. And you already met our two lovely ladies here. All right, I'm going to give y'all, uh, on a count of three, we're going to clap it off and say whatever you want to say. One, two, one, two, three. Who's house? Good morning, Allison Hudson here again with Community Shield, and I have two great guys here with me today uh, with the Greater Houston Police Activity League. So please tell me your name, guys. 
Uh, my name is Terry Beatty with the Houston Police Activities League, and I've been a police officer for 12 years now. Officer Sarmino with the Houston Police Department. I've been with the department 13 years. Great. Tell me a little bit about what you guys do, why it's so important to give back to the youth. Well, first and foremost, the thing that we do is we like to go out, interact with the, the young people in the community, try to break down some of these barriers, build up some trust between the police and the community, and just allow them to see that police officers are humans and that we do make mistakes sometimes, but we are very um, in favor of what, they, what, what, what the young people do, and we want them to have a bright future. Awesome. Uh, one of the things that we emphasize is leadership in the schools. We go out there and... Uh, uh, you know, talk to the teachers and uh, talk about cyberbullying and um, all those aspects that we have in, in, in the schools right now with this environment, with the social media. Absolutely, absolutely. You mentioned leadership. That is obviously so important, even as adults. But can you speak a little bit about the leadership roles that, that you guys see with the kids that you have now? Definitely. One of the things that we see in nowadays is, once again, about social media. And it, leadership is start with with yourself, right? So that's what we teach the kids. We go to the schools, we talk to the, teach, the teacher and cover leadership. That's the number one because we want to grow leaders in our youth community. Absolutely, absolutely. Can you tell me how many kids that you guys have in your program? Well, currently we have over about 600 kids citywide. Um, our program covers the, the whole city. And so we're in all the different parts of the, uh, of the schools. We're in about seven or eight different school districts. Um, and the, the big thing that we do, again, is we work on creating leaders through mentorship. So we as police officers are mentors to some, a lot of these youth who may, not, who may or may not have a really good example that they see on a daily basis. So this gives them an opportunity to see someone who's doing something right, who's doing the right thing, um, reaffirm those things that they have in their life that, that, that they need to get correct. Absolutely. Okay, so we have a table here. Obviously, we have some brochure with some literature on the program, and obviously we have some games. So walk me through. I mean, I know you guys give so much to the community and to our youth, and you participate in a lot of events. So obviously we're here at Lunar New Year Festival and you guys are here. So tell me what it is that you guys are doing here. Yeah, I'd like to add that the, our program interacts with youth from a, a broad spectrum. Um, youth from ages like 7 all the way up to like 17 or 18. Um, besides just the positive interactions at different community events, we also host uh, sports youth development programs. So we do basketball, we do football, um, we help out with soccer. Um, and then. We're, we're just, we just want to be out in the youth in, in, in any way we can. Um, because like he said, like Officer Zamino said, a lot, of, a lot of people in the city don't know anything about our organization. They don't even understand that, you know, besides the enforcement part of policing, we also want to have a positive influence on the policing as well. And we like to get out in front of the youth as often and as early as we can. And that gives them an opportunity to see, you know, not only do we do the enforcement part, but we also care about them as, as humans and as people as well in their development. So if anybody's watching this right now and they're interested in joining, can you tell me how they would do that? Yes, they can go to the uh, HoustonPolice.org website or they can call our, our office at 713-308-3200 um, and, 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 and that'll be a great way for them to get involved in our program. Absolutely. Anything you want to add? Absolutely. Uh, so one of the things that we're doing coming up next uh, Monday, we start our basketball program. And as Officer Betty mentioned, it's 14 officers citywide and in every area of the city is being covered. So uh, look us up on GH Pow on online and there's going to be a lot of opportunities for kids with no experience or with some experience for basketball. Absolutely. What a wonderful program. If you guys are interested, you heard it here first. How you can get involved, you can call that number. Uh, you can visit our website, and we're on social media as well. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. All right. Good morning. It's, new, it's Lunar New Year, and uh, right now I have with me, tell me your name. Yes, my name is Lisa. Lisa, and tell me this beautiful, uh, what you have here. Lisa. Okay, this is uh, a dancing lion. Lion, okay. Yes, yes. and we have a big one, and we also have a small one. Okay. A small one is for kids. Okay. It's like a lion 
a puppy. Okay. Yeah, right. so they can, you know, dance very, very funny and very well. It's so cute. It is very, yes. very cute. And so, can you tell me, do you make these? No, uh, we import this. Import, okay, Yes. Great. Okay. All right, and so tell me what's the importance of these. Obviously, okay. it has some importance. So please uh, share with us what that is. All right, for Chinese culture, and uh, every like Lunar New Year, and, and you know, uh, before there's uh, like a, a master called Nian, and Nian is very, very, uh, it hung for people. So if uh, for the first year, first day of the year, they see, oh, everybody survived, and they were greeting everybody, and they use this uh, lion to scare away from the uh, masters. Yeah, so the, the monsters will be scared away. Right. So they will, you know, fire the firecrackers and they will dance and become the very happy and also a very strong and scare uh, uh, away the, the bad thing. Bad things. Okay, all right. And so you have here some different colors. Can yes. you walk me through that? This red one is beautiful. That's right? beautiful. And red is a traditional color. Okay. And we always uh, uh, like a red color to... It's uh, good luck, it's right? good luck. Yes, yes. yes, and uh, very powerful. Right, right. And also we have purple and golden colors, very, very oh, good nice, too. Nice. Yeah, and pink for the, you know, uh, the girls, right. they love it. And yellow too. So in the real time, and they usually, uh, like a lion dance, they have many, many colors as right. this okay, too. Okay, nice. Okay, <laughs> and then tell me what we have here, over here. Oh, this one? Uh, t this year is the year the of the rabbit. Yes. Yeah, so we have some like a uh, product for celebrate the year of the rabbits. Awesome. Okay, all right. And so, do you hang these like around the house? Like, how, what do you? What? Where? Where can you hang them? And we can hang the uh, like uh, two sides of the door, front okay. door, okay. or in. Uh, in the middle of the front door. Nice, nice. Yes. Okay, and if somebody wanted to come and buy this, how much are they? Where can they get them? Okay, this is $15. Uh -huh. And uh, it's a very, we, we have very good uh, price because we want to share with everybody. Right. And we are a non-profit organization. We are the Epic Times. Okay. And so we, all the incomes we will uh, donate to the charity and use for uh, the very good thing. Wow, that is so great. Thank you so much for <laughs> giving you. back. We appreciate you being that non-profit in the community. Uh, Year of the Rabbit. And we're going to say some good luck. Okay. Uh, and, and thank you guys for joining us. We're meeting with, what, tell me your name? Oh, my name is Miracle Bui. I work for Harris County Elections Administrator. Okay, yeah. so tell me what we have here. And tell me, you know, tell the people why it's so important to vote. Um, it's very important for people to use their, like, you know, civic rights. You know, we're blessed to be U.S. citizens, to be able to have a, a say in our government, right? So we want to encourage people to utilize that right and register to vote with us today. Um, and that's why we want to make sure we impact all the communities in Houston. Right? Absolutely, absolutely. So, you know, for someone who just really doesn't know anything about voting, can you go through that? How old did it have to be? You know, those type of things. Of course. So in order to register to vote, you must be a U.S. citizen. You must be at least 17 years and 10 months of age to register to vote, meaning that you'll be 18 by Election Day. Um, this upcoming election in uh, this year is May 6th, which is uh, a uniform election, and in November there's the mayor election. Okay, and where is your office located? If someone wants to come and get some additional information, I'm sure you have a website. What is that information? Uh, yes, if you go on harrisvotes.com, that's the official Harris County Election Administrator website. Um, but there's also the downtown location in 1001 Preston Street, which is the Harris County uh, building. If you go to the second floor or fourth floor, that's the election administrator's office. Absolutely. And what are the hours? Um, it's from 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Awesome, awesome. And what is that website? Uh, HarrisVotes.com. Okay, great. Is there anything else you want to let the people know about how important it is to vote or anything about your services? Um, well, I'm a community coordinator for the uh, Spring Branch Energy Corridor and A-Leaf area. Um, we're always looking for volunteers to help us register folks in the community. So if you're ever interested, please reach out at harrisvotes.com. Um, we'll be able to set up a voter registration drive or get someone out there to register folks in your area. Okay. And then tell me a little bit about that volunteering because I may be interested. So can you give me a little different uh, additional information? Like how many volunteers do you see um, kind of in that election year? And then just, you know, when it's not an election year, are you still looking for volunteers or what does that look like? Uh, yeah, so VDVRs, um, those are voter registrars. Um, those are people in the community that uh, can register folks to uh, vote. 
um, they don't work in the election necessarily, but they help register people whether it's an election year or not. Um, they're around year round to help uh, commu coordinators like myself register folks in the area. Um, in order to do it, it's a really easy training. It's just an hour training, this virtual and in person that we're doing. Um, and you, and if you do in person, you actually get your certificate the day of, and you actually can go out to events like this and register folks. Awesome, awesome. Mm -hmm. Anything else that I'm missing that you want to mention? Uh, I think I think that's all I got for right now. But yeah, thank you for interviewing. All right, thank you so much. And remember, voting matters. So if you're not registered, go out and get registered today. Thank you. Right. Yeah. We're celebrating the Chinese New Year, right? Yes. All right. Celebrating the Chinese New Year with the Houston Police Department, we are... HPD! 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 HPD!